Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, Monday the 28th, as well as tomorrow, Tuesday the 29th, all in the month of September, all in the year 2015 as always. Thank you so much. So today, continuing building on the messages for the last three days. We started off with spiritual wellness and then physical wellness, yesterday intellectual wellness, and today, how would you or how would someone demonstrate self-love in the area of emotional wellness? Emotional wellness, so that's the area we're working in today. So, first of all, be kind to yourself. You know, realizing, and this is my belief system, and many other believe this as well, there are no mistakes, there are no wrong choices, there are just choices that get you to your ultimate destination quicker, or that elevate your vibration faster. But ultimately, the choices you make are still experiences that you're probably designed to have, or that on a higher level you're choosing to have. So be kind to yourself when you do make choices that appear bad, negative, wrong, or just mistakes because ultimately they are taking you closer to heaven, closer to source, closer home. So be kind to yourself and realize, your, I believe your emotions are the, the best way to understand what's happening in and around your life. You know, if you're happy and you know it, you're gonna clap your hands. If you're not, you're gonna cry. Find out what the tears might be about, but release them, first of all. Release them, don't bottle them up. Deal with the emotions. As my good friend Jennifer Hornberg says, invite that anger, invite that self-pity, invite that hatred in for tea and find out what's going on. It's almost like, I want, this is what I visualize. When I'm sad, lonely, depressed, I literally reach out and hug that emotion and say, what are you trying to show me? I'm fully experiencing you. And I keep going back to something I said many, many years ago. It's like, whoever taught us these emotions were bad? You know, they, they do kind of hurt a little bit, you know, and sometimes a lot if you don't deal with them. But it's like, I want to say, they're just emotions. They're just another way your body communicates to you. So embrace it and bite it in for tea. So be good to yourself. Be good to yourself, especially emotionally. Now, let's look into some cards and numbers and see how it supports that message. Today, the 28th day, Lenormand for today is going to be the Clover. This is number two. This is a happy, beautiful, positive card, lucky card. And this is what you can take with any emotion, how you can choose to be happy or you know feeling good. Terror to go along with the Clover is the Wheel card. This is often about having lots of choices, Wheel of Fortune. It can be just the goings on, the everyday going on of the world. The world is just turning round and round and round. So find this energy and make it positive. Utilize this very positive clover energy in the cycles that continue to happen over and over and over. And again, today is it's 28, which is 10, which is 1. So that's masculine. That's dynamic. All the numbers add up to 27, which is 9, which is that transition number. It's the master number, per number of perfection, endings, tolerance. So it may be the day that you end some things that have been that have been cycles going on and on. It may be the perfect day, the perfect energy with that clover to end some cycles that are you're no longer serving your highest good. Tomorrow, the 29th day, first Lenormand is going to be you, a woman, or a woman in your life. The card represents a person 99.9% .9 of the time. Tarot to go along with the woman is the king of swords. So this feels like a couple. This feels like, and I'm going to say power couple. Um, the king of swords is often police, detective, engineer, lawyer, someone very mental, someone up in their head, accountant. Um, but the, so this is about the woman having this person in her life, someone else. You may be the king of swords as well. And I really want to say it's almost just like, there it is. That's the answer. The answer is yes, king of swords. The answer is yes, king of swords. I, I'll be honest, you know me, I'm a talker. It's like, I got nothing else. The numbers for tomorrow, 29, 29 is 11. 11 is a master power number, uh, master of illumination, speaking your truth, reformer of the world. <clears throat> also number two. High Priestess Feminine, you know, and then all the numbers up at 28 or 10 or 1. So we're right back to tomorrow's got dual personality. So this could be you with your masculine, feminine, feminine balancing it out. So you could be in one and the same, the King of Swords as well as the woman tomorrow. So balance it out or look for your King of Swords. So there is your message for today. Um, thank you so much. And this is an odd one for you, but with all the energy that's going on, I, I, I dove, I dived, I dove into the flow and it felt so good. For one of the first times in my life, I am consciously allowing 
all that's out there to come flowing in. I mean, and this is it. This is going to be a longer one, so you can stop now if you don't want to hear what's going on in my personal life. We're moving. We're in the middle of buying and selling our house. Wow. I've signed up for hypnosis course at the end of October. A whole week of this, which is probably going to be a business line of mine. Just, I, I saw someone talking about police detective work and psychic police detective work, a friend of mine, and I'm like, so tell me more about this. I just signed up for that. It's, it's something that I can do at my leisure kind of thing, but we meet once a week. It, it's like, it's, and, I, and normally I would hesitate, let me think about it, let me, but I'm like, no, I'm in the flow. You know, so all those things are going on. Um, I've got the 10th, I'm down in Palm Beach for Terracon, the 17th and in person, the 24th and in person. So, and then coming up, we're doing the um, seven week shocker every Sunday morning. You know, I, I looked at Fabian yesterday and I said, there's so much going on right now. And he goes, what are you talking about? I just listed the list off and he was like, wow, that is a lot. But it's all doable. The old Mitch would have been fearful that he's losing um, personal time, downtime, but I know that's going to be there. And I know this is a time for me to expand and grow. I feel like there's a big push personally through the end of the year, um, and mainly because of this year is self, self um, the whole year is eight, which is, um, wow, could you hear me stumbling over my words here? You know, authority, power, organization, self mastery, there's the word I was looking for, business success, organization. So it's like, this is what I'm doing this year because not next year, 2016 is number nine ending transformation it's just going to be a powerful year for me so like I said normally I would be fearful right now of all that's going on and and oftentimes when I feel overwhelmed that I have so much on my list to do I would get a little depressed I would get a little down but I'm I'm consciously saying no this is part of the flow at any moment if I need to say whoa slow down I can and you guys can do that as well so and some of you feel like well where's all that stuff coming to me Open up your heart, you know. I expect nothing, yet I'm, I'm ready and available and, and looking towards everything and anything. So that was my, one of my posts a few weeks ago. So I did a ramble at the end there. If you're still watching, thanks. I appreciate it. The message was probably meant for you as well. That was a message for me. So namaste. I will talk to you tomorrow. IntuitiveMitchell.com if you feel led. Bye-bye.